Hello, in this uh, short video, I will present a, an unusual application for digital signal processing. Because we are going to use digital signal processing in general and the discrete Fourier transform and any spectral analysis in particular to analyze the small differences between two different types of salsa dancing, the LA style and the New York style. During the second half of the last century, two very distinct salsa styles were developed in the United States. Nevertheless, both are danced in line, in a line, and therefore they can both be compared easily with signal processing methods. The first uh, salsa type that was developed in the United States was the New York style and, uh, and the east, at the eastern coast of the United States, uh, strongly influenced by the mambo, the jazz, the Puerto Rican music, the New York style is danced on two, which means that it is danced on the second beat of the music in every compass and places a strong emphasis on the harmony with the salsa instruments and intricate uh, footworks, which we call shines. At the other side, the other end of the United States, the West Coast, the Los Angeles style was developed, strongly influenced by Western musicals, and uh, well, it is a surprise because after all, Los Angeles, it's Hollywood. The LA style is dance on one, which means that it is dance on the first beat of the music. And, plays, and, this, and this style places a strong emphasis on the style, the aerobatics, and the musicality. In these two tables, we present the basic steps in both LA and New York style. This is only the basic steps, but you can see uh, in each row, you can see uh, the movement of the right leg and of the left leg. Plus one stands for stepping forward, minus one stands for stepping backward, and zero stands for stepping on the same spot. So you can see, for example, that the male or the leader begins in the LA style with his left, left, foot, left foot forward. At the second beat, he steps at, with his right leg on the same spot. And in the third beat, he takes his left back, back. Nothing occurs at the fourth and the eighth beat. You see, there's no movement there. But again, on the fifth beat, he takes his right leg backward, on the 6th beat he steps on the same spot with his left leg, and on the 7th beat he takes his right, uh, right uh, foot back forward. You can see uh, what goes on within the New York style. You can see that it, it doesn't look like uh, a great difference. The two, uh, the two uh, styles uh, look, in fact, very similar. It is very difficult for the untrained eye to see the difference between the two styles. Moreover, if we ignore the fourth and the eighth beats, which, after all, nothing happens there, they would look exactly the same. The New York style looks like a circular shift of the LA style, of the, the same steps of the LA styles, and vice versa, of course. We can see in this table that actually what happens in the first bit in the LA style is exactly what happens in the New York style on the sixth bit. And what happens on the second bit on LA style is exactly what happens on the seventh bit on New York. So actually, if you take out the eight and uh, the fourth and the eighth bits, it's exactly the same thing. However, if we add the fourth and the eighth bits, I I stress again that this is the piece that nothing happens there. A substantial difference emerges.
since at every bit only one foot is moving, then the change, which I call it the b of n, n is the number of bit, and b is the change in the location of the body, so this change can be calculated by adding the two rows in the previous tables. So actually now we have a vector b of n which depends on n, the number of bit, and it's very simple. For example, in an LA style, it's plus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 0, plus 1, 0. At a New York style, it's minus 1, minus 1, 0, 0, plus 1, plus 1, 0, 0. Again, you cannot see <coughs> a substantial difference between them. However, if we plot this function, this is a discrete plot, of course, because this is a discrete signal, you can see that the LA change in the body location has more zigzags than the New York one. But we are not interested in the change in the body location, we are interested in the body location itself. So evidently, the body location it's the summation over the change in the body location. So therefore you can see that the capital B, which is the specific body location, the position, the exact position of the body, is actually a summation over these changes. Now in order that the, the average of the location of the body should be zero, we will subtract from this value its average. This is the reason for the triangular brackets there. But, the, but it's, it's only a constant, actually. You can, uh, by the way, you can use the, any co constant and it doesn't have a substantial difference on the, on the conclusions. Similarly, we can calculate the change in the body location from the body location itself by a simple difference operation. This is trivial in signal processing uh, methods. So this is the result. In these two tables, we present the body location at a specific bit in the LA style and then in the New York style. Again, in order to make it more presentable, we will plot them. Here are the plots of the, of the LA style and the New York style, of the, the body location of the LA style and New York style. And you can see, even from here, you can see that the New York style looks more smooth than, than the LA style. In fact, it can be seen that the body location, the New York style, resembles an harmonic sine function. In fact, it is exactly similar to a rounded sine function. You can see in the upper panel, you can see a plot of a sine function. It is a discrete function of sine of 2 pi times n plus 3 divided by 8. I remind you that n is the number of bit. And in the lower panel, you can see when we take this function and operate an around operation on it. So you can see that this is exactly the round operation over the sign result in exactly the movement of the New York style. We cannot say the same thing about the LA style. In fact, it can easily be shown that the body location in the LA style is proportional to the change or the difference in the body location of the New York style. So the body location in the LA style is the change you know, of the body location in the New York style. See, actually, the, if we use continuous uh, analysis, then we would say that the body location in the LA style is the derivative of the body location in the New York style. And therefore, it has higher frequencies. It is well known that by operating a derivative, it's like, op uh, it's like using a high-pass filter. So this is the reason 
From here we can understand that uh, uh, why the LA dance is more a frenetic dance in a way. To make it more scientific, we will use the discrete Fourier transform. The discrete Fourier transform, the DFT, is a mathematical operator, actually it's a linear operator, which can be used to in dissecting any discrete signal to its harmonic components. This is a very important tool in uh, signal processing, uh, like, like any Fourier analysis in signal processing, but it's, uh, it operates on a discrete signals. For those of you who are not familiar with it, you should not worry. I'll make it very, very simple. All you need to know is that when you operate a DFT on a vector, on a signal x of n, the result is a capital X as a different vector which has the same number of elements, no, same number of components. This is the first example of uh, how the DFT works. You see, in the upper panel we take a, a very simple harmonic function, sine of pi n divided by 32, which means that in at 64 bits, this signal has exactly one period. As a consequence, when we when you use the DFT, when you look at the, the spectrum, the x of k, the, 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 the DFT transform of the signal, you can see that only the plus and minus one appear, which means that only the first harmonic exist. In this uh, second example of DFT, you can see that you take a, a different uh, harmonic function, which its frequency is four times higher. You see, we, we do not divide it by 32, but we divide it pi n divided by 8, which means that in the same period, the 64 bits, we have four period appears. As a consequence, when you operate the DFT, you can find a vector where only the fourth harmonics appear. k is different from zero only at k equal minus four and k equal plus four. In the previous example, it was very simple. You, not be, you should not be very clever to understand which are the harmonic components of the signal. But in this third example, for example, you can see that the signal is consists of three different harmonics. And it is very difficult but by looking, just looking at the signal, to analyze its Fourier analysis, to, to recognize from which signals, from which harmonics it is made of. However, if you operate the DFT, you can find exactly, you can see, that it made of the plus, plus two, uh, plus minus two, we know that the second harmonic, the fourth harmonic, and the eighth harmonics. They all appear with, and, and the ratio between them is exactly like the ratio between the um, amplitude of the original signal. Now let's go back to salsa. We will take the signal of the body location, capital B of N, and we operate on it, the DFT. And this is the, what we find. You see that, look at the, the upper panel. The upper panel is the important one. The, the lower panel, is, it's only the phase. We'll ignore it in this, um, in this video. But in the upper panel, you can see that only the plus minus one and plus minus three are different from zero, which means that there are only two harmonics the first harmonic and the third harmonics. So this is the result. We can say that we can write the body location in the Los Angeles style, LA style, as a summation of two harmonics. And this is not an approximation. This uh, formula is not an approximation. This is the exact result of how we can write the previous signal. And for those of you who are not 
We're not sure how I made, the, how I got to 0.922, for example. It's very simple. We can take the amplitude of uh, minus 1 and plus 1, which is 3.68. We divide it by the number of bits, which is only 8 in this, uh, in this example, because it's, it's salsa. Salsa it's made of, it consists of 8 bits. We multiplied it by 2. Because, uh, because we want to write it as, um, as a cosine function. And you know the cosine function can be, written, can be written as e to the i x plus e to minus i x divided by 2. So this is the 2 there. And this is how we got the uh, 0.92. The same thing you can, you can derive how we got the 0.38. Now the same thing we will do for the New York style. Again, in the upper panel, you can see the, the spectrum, the spectrum of the signal. Actually, it's not the spectrum, it's the, the square root of the spectrum. This is uh, technicalities. You can see that the most important thing here is that there are only, again, there are only two harmonics, the first harmonic and the third harmonic. Obviously, the phases are different and the amplitude are different. But again, they are made of only two harmonics. And this is, a, 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 again, I would like to stress that this is an exact solution. This is not an approximation. Now, the amount of energy in each uh, harmonics is actually the square of the its amplitude. So it's very constructive to calculate the ratio between the amount of energy in the first harmonic and the amount of energy in the third harmonic. Now you can see that in both cases we have only two harmonics, the first and the third. But the ratio in the LA styles is 5.84, while, while in the New York style it's 33.9, which is almost six times higher. It means that most of the energy in both cases is, is concentrated in the first harmonic, but it's much, much more concentrated in the first harmonic in the New York style than in, in the LA style. So let us summarize. Uh, first of all, the body movement, or the body location of the basic steps can be written as a superposition of some of the first and the third harmonics. This is true for both salsa styles. In both styles, most of, most of the energy is concentrated in the first harmonic. However, the amount of energy in the third harmonic is almost six times smaller in the New York style, which turns it into a much smoother dancing style. So this is how to analyze scientifically, uh, how to prove mathematically, scientifically, <laughs> that the New York style is much more smoother. I'm not saying that it means that it is more beautiful, I'm not saying anything uh, subjective. I'm only saying mathematically that it is more smooth. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please let me know.